evokes in the history of Chalk Talk, which spans over a decade and a half and over a thousand episodes. This is our very first sugarcane-based episode. Yes, my friends, and no cans of highly caffeinated beverages were harmed in its production. I hear you loud and clear, my loyal Chalk Talk audience. Um, sugarcane? What? Yes, let me introduce you to Biofuse, the newest innovation in bio-based heat shrink tubing from TE Connectivity. That is, you guessed it, derived from sugarcane. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. There is a greater demand today for sustainable solutions for electronic design than ever before. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Shane Loth from TE Connectivity and I explore the what, where, and how of heat shrink tubing. We also investigate the variety of benefits of TE Connectivity's Biofuse heat shrink tubing and how this solution represents a lower environmental impact while maintaining the same price and performance of other TE Connectivity heat shrink tubing solutions. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. Hi, Shane. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking all about biofuse tubing today. But Shane, before we dig into the details, what all will we be covering? Yeah, thank you and welcome everyone. Today, we're going to introduce Biofuse, TE Connectivity's new bio-based heat shrink tubing. Before we dive into all the details, let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be talking about. First, we'll start with a quick refresher on what heat shrink tubing is, how it works, and why customers use these products. Then, we'll zoom in on the sustainability landscape and review the key trends and drivers for more sustainable materials. Next, we'll examine the evolution of the material science in bio-based materials and give an in-depth look at our new Biofuse line, what makes it different, and the real-world benefits of these products. Finally, we'll wrap up and look at where the market is heading and why this matters for your business. Fantastic. Now, Shane, for my audience who may not know, what exactly is heat shrink tubing? Yeah, let's take a moment to really understand the fundamentals of heat shrink tubing what it is, how it's made, and why it's so widely used. So put simply, it's a plastic tube that shrinks when heated. As it shrinks, it tightly wraps around wires, splices, or connectors, providing insulation, protection, and sealing in electrical systems. Now, depending on the application, that tubing can be made from a variety of materials. Polyolefins are the most common. They're flexible, electrically insulating, and they resist chemicals really well. Fluoropolymers, these are used to handle higher temperatures and harsher environments. Elastomers can be used to offer extra flexibility and abrasion resistance, or a number of other materials are used depending on the application requirements. Now, heat shrink tubing is made in three basic steps. Extrusion, where we shape the raw polymer into tubing. Radiation cross-linking, now this gives it that shape memory effect so it knows how to shrink back. And finally, expansion, where the tubing is stretched out while it's hot and then cooled to lock in to the expanded shape. It's then cut to length or wound out of spools for delivery to customers. You'll typically see two types of heat shrink tubing products. Single wall, which we refer to, acts as a protective jacket. And dual wall has a built-in adhesive liner that melts and seals out moisture when heated. And finally, some quick specifications to be aware of. Shrink ratio, you'll see references to two to one or four to one. This tells you how much the tube will shrink down when heated. Temperature range, which tells you the operating temperature the tube can withstand. And also the recovery temperature will tell you the temperature at which the heat shrink tube shrinks. And of course, electrical and chemical resistance are key for safety and durability. In short, Heat shrink tubing is a versatile, high-performance solution that plays a big role in ensuring reliability and protection in electrical systems. Fantastic. Now, Shane, what kind of functions are we talking about here? Yeah, great. Now that we've covered what heat shrink tubing is and how it's made, let's talk about what it actually does in practice. We break it down into six core functions. 
First up, insulation. At its core, heat shrink tubing provides electrical and thermal insulation, which helps prevent short circuits, protects against shocks, and keeps systems running safely. This is really critical in high voltage and high temperature environments. Next up is protection. This stuff is tough. It guards against abrasion, UV rays, and chemical exposure. Whether you're dealing with automotive wiring under the hood, industrial equipment, or even marine applications, heat shrink tubing helps protect components from the elements and extends their lifespan. Then there's strain relief. Wires are often under stress from vibration, from movement, or other tension. Heat shrink tubing reinforces those vulnerable points and reduces the risk of wire breakage or connector failure. Sealing is another big one. With dual wall tubing, you get an adhesive lining inside that melts when heated. This creates a watertight seal, helping keep out moisture, oils, fuel, and other contaminants. It's critical in applications where exposure to the environment is a concern, like in vehicles or outdoor electrical systems. Fifth is identification. Tubing can be color-coded or printed, which makes it really easy to organize and trace wires or circuits. That's a huge help during installation, maintenance, and troubleshooting. And finally, cosmetic finishing. Heat shrink tubing just makes things look better. It cleans up wire bundles, hides messy connections, and gives the whole assembly a professional, finished experience. So yeah, it's more than just a shrinkable tube. Heat shrink tubing is a reliable, easy-to-use solution engineered for long-term performance. And better yet, it outlasts tape, glue, and other quick fixes. And that's why it's trusted across so many industries. So Shane, when it comes to bio-based materials, what do you think is pushing the adoption of these materials? Yeah, great question. Now let's talk about the why behind Biofuse. The global shift towards sustainability is real and it's accelerating. And there are multiple forces behind this trend. One of the biggest drivers is regulatory pressure. Around the world, legislation is tightening around the use of petrochemical-based materials. Whether it's the European Green Deal or carbon disclosure mandates, companies are being held accountable for the environmental footprint of their products from cradle to grave. As a response, OEMs and end users are demanding more sustainable materials throughout their supply chains. They're not just asking for performance. They want transparency, traceability, and materials that align with their circular economy goals. And let's not forget the consumer side. Today's consumers are more informed and more values-driven than ever. They're choosing brands that reflect their environmental concerns. That pressure flows upstream, influencing design decisions, material selection, and supplier partnerships. All of this is fueling a shift towards renewable and bio-based raw materials. These materials offer a way to maintain or even improve product performance while significantly reducing the environmental impact. So these initiatives align with TE's overall commitment to greenhouse gas reduction, right, Shane? Absolutely. At TE, sustainability is a core business commitment. We're not just reacting, we're leading. We've set ambitious science-based targets to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions across our operations. Now we're targeting this in a couple ways. First, we're targeting a 70% reduction in scope one and scope two emissions by 2030. This includes all of the direct emissions that come from our factories and the energy that we purchase to operate those factories. Next up, we're also committed to a 30% reduction in scope three emissions by 2032. Now scope three, this is a big deal. And this is really where biofuse products come into play. Scope three includes the greenhouse gas emissions on all upstream and downstream activities in our value chain, including the raw materials that we source. Now those targets have been validated by the science-based target initiative a globally recognized organization that ensures corporate climate goals are aligned with the latest climate science. And what does this mean for our customers? It means that by working with TE Connectivity, you're partnering with a supplier that is actively reducing its environmental footprint, is investing in sustainable solutions like Biofuse, and helps you meet your own corporate sustainability goals through responsible sourcing. All right. So, Shane, before we go much further, talk to me a bit about bio-based materials. Yeah, let's take a moment to clarify an important distinction, bio-based versus biodegradable, and how this applies to biofuse. Here's where we need to be clear. Biofuse is a bio-based, not biodegradable product, and that's an important distinction. Let's start with some definitions. What does it mean to be bio-based? A bio-based material is one that is partially or fully derived from renewable biological sources. In our case, it's sugarcane. Instead of relying on fossil fuels like petroleum, 
we're using plant-based feedstocks to create the base polymers for biofuse tubing. This is a major innovation. Sugarcane is a fast-growing, renewable crop that absorbs CO2 as it grows. By using it as a raw material, we're significantly reducing our carbon footprint in the final product without compromising on performance. Now, it's important to note that biofuse is not biodegradable, and that's by design. Let me explain. Biodegradable materials are designed to break down naturally in the environment. While that's ideal for single-use packaging or compostable products, it's not suitable for critical electrical insulation and protection applications. The innovation with our biofuse offerings is that we're offering a product with a reduced carbon footprint without compromising on durability, reliability, and performance that you expect from TE Connectivity's heat shrink tubing products. That's great. All right. So, Shane, talk to me about Biofuse. These solutions are plant-based heat shrink tubing, right? So talk to me more about the details. That's right. Our new Biofuse product is a plant-based heat shrink tubing solution, engineered to be an alternative to fossil-based materials without compromising on quality, reliability, or cost. Now, one of the most common concerns we hear with sustainable materials is they might not match the durability or technical specifications of conventional plastics. But with Biofuse, that's not the case. It's been rigorously tested to meet the same standards as our existing heat shrink products. In other words, no trade-offs. You get the same trusted performance, but with a greener footprint. The first two products from the Biofuse line include BIS, or Bio Innovation Splice Sealing, and BICAP, or Bio Innovation Cap. These are form, fit, function alternatives for existing products like ES2000, RBK ILS, and ESCAP, meaning you can switch to Biofuse without changing your design or process. I'm excited to tell you more about our new BIS and BICAP products and the benefits they bring to our customers. All right, so let's talk about BIS and BICAP. Can we take a closer look at each of these Biofuse solutions? Yep, let's take a closer look at the products themselves. Biofuse is the result of years of material science innovation. The products are made from renewable, plant-based sources rather than traditional fossil fuels. This shift in raw materials significantly reduces the product's carbon footprint, helping both TE and our customers meet their greenhouse gas reduction goals. But what's truly exciting is that Biofuse delivers all of this without compromise. This means you get the same temperature performance, the same mechanical and electrical performance, the same shrink ratios, and Biofuse is also designed to be cost competitive with traditional tubing. We know that sustainability can't come at a premium if it's going to scale. We've engineered Biofuse to be a drop-in replacement. No redesigns, no compromises, no added cost. Now, let's talk about the product lines themselves. We're launching two key Biofuse variants, BIS, or Bioinnovation Splice Sealing, this is a form fit function alternative to our widely used ES2000 and RBK ILS products. Ideal for inline splice sealing and multiple inline wire configurations. Next up is BICAP or Bio Innovation Cap. It's an alternative to products like ES Cap and it's designed for end cap and stub splice sealing as well as multiple end wire configurations. Okay, so Shane, can we dig a little deeper into the BIS solution? Absolutely. Let's take a closer look at the first of our two Biofuse product variants, BIS, or Bioinnovative Splice Sealing. BIS is our sustainable heat shrink tubing product for splice sealing applications. It's a bio-based alternative to our well-known ES2000 or RBK ILS products, which delivers the same trusted performance, but with a lower carbon footprint. It's made from bio-based polyolefin materials derived from renewable sugarcane, but still gives you the same heat resistance, durability, and shape memory you expect from traditional heat shrink tubing. BIS is engineered to handle the same tough environments as our conventional products, down to negative 40 C or up to 125 degrees C, and offers a four to one shrink ratio to cover a wide range of wire sizes and splice configurations. It also has a hot melt adhesive liner that helps to seal and protect against moisture and corrosion and brings all of the familiar mechanical and electrical protection to extend the life of your connection. All right, Shane, so what about BICAP? What kind of specifications are we talking about here? Yep, BICAP is the other half of our Biofuse launch. The acronym itself stands for Bioinnovation Cap. It's our end cap solution for sealing wire terminations. While BIS is designed for inline splice sealing, BICAP has a closed end design. It's engineered for sealing wire terminations and end splice configurations. 
BICAP shares the same material formulation and properties as BIS, so it brings the same robust performance and application versatility for end splice sealing. This meets a critical need in automotive, industrial, and commercial transportation wire harness applications. Just like BIS, BICAP enables sustainability without any performance or price trade-offs. All right, so Shane, to recap, what would you like my audience to take away from today's Chalk Talk? If there's one big takeaway, it's this. Biofuse isn't just a sustainable option, it's a smart, forward-looking solution that's ready now. The demand for sustainable materials is growing fast, especially in areas like electric vehicles, renewable energy, and smart infrastructure. These industries are scaling quickly, but they're also under the microscope when it comes to carbon footprint. Every component, even something as small as a wire seal, is now part of that conversation. At the same time, OEMs are raising the bar. Sustainability has gone from a nice-to-have to a non-negotiable. More and more customers are asking for bio-based content, documentation, traceability, and carbon footprint data. Biofuse was built to meet those needs right out of the gate. And here's where the opportunity really comes in. Companies that adopt sustainable materials now aren't just checking a box. They're setting themselves up to win. They're more likely to meet new OEM and regulatory requirements. They're more resilient to future regulatory changes. And they build trust with customers who care about the environment. With Biofuse, you don't have to trade off performance to get there. You still get the excellent thermal protection, mechanical durability, and sealing performance that you expect of TE connectivity products but with a significantly lower environmental impact. So whether you're designing for automotive, industrial, energy, or aerospace applications, Biofuse helps you stay ahead of the curve without missing a beat on quality. And if you want to dig deeper, maybe into the data, the carbon footprint savings, or the science behind it all, please check out te.com forward slash Biofuse. You'll find white papers, product specifications, and tools to help you make informed and future ready decisions. Fantastic. Well, Shane, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk about our biofuse tubing. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE Journal.